Well, it's great to see everybody back with us again. Thank you. Uh, John You're and I are with welcome. Bill Jordan. <laughs> well, I was talking to the audience, to you, of course, okay, but to a wonderful audience that comes back because we have these wonderful guests like Bill Jordan, who helps us embrace our boom. He does. And uh, uh, I'm going to just throw it in there. Uh, oh, yeah. Wait, uh, <laughs> shameless, shameless uh, plug. Jeez, oh, I'm always late. I'm always the last one to the party. It's Sorry. Okay. It's okay. Hey, um, Bill, uh, leave it to me to be the last to observe what's going on and pull up mm. the mug. But I was sitting on the porch the other day, and um, it was a little unusual for me in the sense that I was just what I call vegging. I was just looking out at the horses. I was looking at the bushes. I was looking at the flowers. And I was just so aware of everything. I was just contemplating and and uh, just just kind of noticing stuff, everything around me, the, the sky, the birds, you know, all of that. And it, it's kind of unusual uh, for me to actually be that aware of everything around me. I, I, I'm much more of a concentrating kind of person, uh, focusing on something. So you, 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 did, you, uh, you, are you did an you, observer of life? You, John, were you stopping to smell the roses? You didn't answer my phone call? Yeah. Wow, that's right. that that's was what it. I was doing. Well, I mean, I've always had be an observer of life to do the job I did. It's a morning guy in radio. I mean, you had, we had to come up with 18, 19 things a morning to talk about. So I had to be a pretty good observer of things. What I've noticed, though, <clears throat> is that I notice patterns more, and I've become a believer in following patterns, like people's patterns. One of the one of the one of my uh, pet peeves is. Friends, and I don't, I don't, friends in general are not my pet pre. I, I love my friends, but how often we will say, and I guess we do it too, hey, we're going to get together. Hey, so you see them in the store. Hey, let's get together. Yeah. And then it never happens. Or they text you with a question, hey, how's, how's your wife doing? She's doing okay. Thanks for asking. And then there's nothing. They ghost you. And I know, I noticed this pattern in people. And I don't, I don't know whether social media is the cause of that or what. I don't know. But on a, on a bigger scale, I notice more with my granddaughters than I think I did even with our daughter or our grandson. Our grandson's 16. Our granddaughters are six and two. Um, I think it's because I'm not working anymore. And I'm not, you know, my brain is not trying to think of or is, is on the job. Now my brain is more of a neutral and I'm and I'm accepting information better. I'm noticing, hey, the trees. When when did they? When did the buds start last year? When did the new puppy we got? Hey, she's wagging her tail now. When I call her name, she looks at me when she I call her name. Yeah. I can say, where's mommy? And she goes looks for uh, for Marianne. I'm yeah. noticing this more. Before it just like it it all just happened. Does that make sense? I mean, it's oh sure. I, I, sure. And you know what? I, I think you're you're correct to tie it to uh, retirement because we do have more time. And what do you do with that time? You end up thinking, I think. And you're just thinking is noticing and looking at stuff. Um, but, you know, it's a wonderful uh, thing because you really do appreciate all of the things you've missed mm -hmm. when you weren't noticing or when you weren't aware of them. Right, right. And you know, and and here's a memory. And if my daughter watches this, she'll she'll probably assure me it's okay. But she has told me, "Hey, Dad, you remember that time when I I showed you that I I learned how to tie my shoes?" And I had, I don't remember that. Yeah, I don't remember that. She said, "Yeah, we were at the driveway, and I I just gotten home from school or whatever." And it's like I don't. I yeah. wish I remembered. I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, little stuff with, believe it or not, yeah, the the puppy um, uh, and and stuff with the grand granddaughters, you know, because uh, the youngest uh, uh, Ruby will, you know, she goes through this thing where you come up to her and she's like, no, yeah, like like adult women would do to me back in the day, uh, <laughs> uh, and then but then when she's having a day when she it's like she knows who I am or she'll call me Poppy or she'll like, man, this. I really, really notice that stuff. Yeah. Uh, 
But yeah, I, I, I can't explain it other than, as you've kind of reiterated, and you, you've made me feel better that maybe I'm on track with this, when your mind's not elsewhere because of work, yep. typically, your 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 mind is open to seeing these things and noticing patterns or or being more appreciative i think yeah yeah or de the just details of life really yeah. uh, you you brought up um the kids and i it, it made me want to ask you do you think that because i think as we talk i think women generally are much more aware of things around them going on. And I think of all the, when we had kids, my wife would know when, not just because she was main, the main caregiver, but she would know the, the gurgles and the pops and the all the little changes in the babies. And now they're grown and we've got dogs and she notices the same thing you do with the dogs and the grandkids. And, yep. you know, what do I notice? I notice the change in the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that tree died on me. I'll have to put in another one, you know. Well, I mean, maybe that's, you know, that's the yin and the yang. That's why you're, you know, a good couple. She notices. Yeah. You Art, notice do you, you have any observations? So, yeah, yeah. So I'm a little Debbie Downer here, but that's because for the first 30 years of my career, uh, I was selling business equipment on Wall Street. And as a salesperson, I was really successful at it uh, most of the time. Um I was always aware of stuff because uh, just noticing the, the people I was dealing with and what was important to them, something that I might be that would trigger in me a need that needs to be fulfilled or that they weren't really up to their game that day. And I would notice these things and it would provide openings for me uh, either to speak to them directly about it and perhaps start a conversation. So I've sort of been in the awareness business for the majority of my life. And then, when, and I know that also, John, when you were uh, doing productions at Laguna Seca, I think you did a lot of automotive stuff uh, yeah. and you were setting up cameras all over the, the place and getting, sure. you, you had huge, huge crews. I think that you were probably very aware of the little Googles and gaggles and this and that because it was a familiarity with you. So I suspect that your awareness has just changed over the years. Uh, and now you're aware, you're becoming aware of things that you never bothered with before to, to listen to the birds or this or that. Right. So I think it's more of that, but I think we've always been aware, but being aware, I think also helps you stay in touch, not only with yourself, but with other people uh, and uh, understanding them. So, so, I guess I'm a little Debbie Downer here. It's not new to me, but I appreciate what both of you guys are saying because I always enjoyed seeing the little nuances in life. Just, just again, I think as we get older, we we tune into them a little bit more and and yeah. appreciate them a little bit more. And the first uh, practice I've got of attitude of gratitude in my in my. <laughs> Oh, look, I just happened to have a book here. Oh, look at that. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at that. He's got a book. Did, did yeah, somebody send there. you one of these as a present for a holiday? It's a great read. I like that thing right there. Anyway. Number one, I, Attitude of Gratitude. Oh, yeah. Attitude of Gratitude. But in it, uh, in referencing that, if I go out on my back porch on a beautiful spring or summer morning, got my cup of coffee in my... Magic embrace the <laughs> well, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. In, okay, we'll you have one I'm of these to, too? I'm trying to be a little more subtle. Oh, so okay. we appreciate that. Anyway, so if what if I suggest that we go through all of our senses, what can you see, hear, taste, touch, feel? Um, and just check in with our senses in the morning. What can you see? What can you hear? I, you know, you, I can feel the the roughness of the deck, the of the railing of the deck. I can smell my coffee. I can I can taste that first sip of that good dark coffee. I can hear a mockingbird that's singing a song just for me. Yeah. You know, just take those few moments of check in with your senses and appreciate that you've got them. And I mean that you know when we talk about, I think we talked about this back at Thanksgiving. What are you thankful for? And I said years ago, it's my senses. Everything comes to me through my senses. Hmm. You know, but, but so, by the way, I just want to ask you a question. When that mockingbird was singing the song just for you, didn't 
you see the gift card that we sent along? We, we ordered it over Amazon, and there's a gift card saying, this Mockingbird song is just for you, Bill. You didn't see that? I did not see that, oh. but, uh, and I, you know, I used the gift card to to buy another copy of my book, Embrace the Boom. From Amazon. Which is available right. on Amazon, is it not? Yeah, yes. yes. Yeah, you're just going to have to become more aware, that's all. Uh, 52 five-star reviews. I'm up to 52, five, no, nothing but five-star reviews. I'm amazed. So uh, thank you for that. And again, the gist of it is for baby boomers, embrace the boom, to which I like to say, live your life, forget your age and embrace the boom. And notice stuff. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.